Hi, I'm Rosie from Rosie Creations and I'm going to be showing you how to paint these two roses and make a little heart. Take the liner brush, I wet it and I dip it into the, let me put it here so you can see better. I put it into the paint and what I do is I drag it, I add a little bit of water and I twirl as I come up. I paint this background design. Let's see if I can do it where I can show you what I'm I'll just go back and forth and do these little squiggles. This is just filler for the background of your ornament. Let's just go back and forth, back and forth. Now I take my round brush you can do this with a square brush too. The only thing is that this helps you a little bit when you have to do round surfaces. And you just put it into the paint and you dab it a little bit. You're going to do two circles. One on the left. And one on the right. And after it dries, we'll go on to the next step. We'll take our square brush and we're going to load it up with Lisa Pink. Put a little bit of Lisa Pink on here. We wet the brush and then we tap some of the wetness out. And you do what is called side loading. And this is a lot a side loading is needed when you do toll painting. What you do is you dip the corner like this into the paintbrush and then you bend the paintbrush. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you do the back side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you kind of go back and forth and what that does it pushes all the paint on one side and it goes to clear on the other. Now we'll take the the heart that has dried and this is we're gonna have the roses facing the side so what I'm gonna do is follow the round circle and go to the back like this then go in front and go like this on this one here I think I wanted to go more Do you see how it's thicker and then lighter on the other side? Okay, now you've just created your two rose buds. Now to do the leaves, we're going to take a small round brush, dip it in water. Oh no, excuse me. We're going to take going to take the liner brush again and we're going to use regular white instead of antique white and again we're going to dip it in until it's the consistency of ink and always turn and twist to make sure okay now that the brush is fully loaded I always use like my pinky to stabilize my brush. Now I'll take and I make a letter S. And then I come back and I make a little curve. Now watch again, I'm going to make the letter S. And 
then I go back and make this little curve. Now do you see how that's looking more like a rose? Now we'll go back to the round brush. I'm going to dip my round brush in the green and I'm just going to tip it in the white or the off-white now to make the leaves, again, I'm going to use my finger to stabilize, and I'm going to do what is called a, a, a comma stroke. I'll show you down here what a comma stroke is. You take and you lift. Press and lift. So basically, I'm going to do some comma strokes. Press and lift. Press and lift. Press and lift. press and lift. Okay. There you have it. Now I'll go back and pick up on the dark boysenberry pink. And I want it to be fine like ink and I'll go ahead and dot the outside of the heart. 